Hooray! Welcome to Jiu Jitsu. Alright, so still working on our uh, bottom side control, right? Bottom position side control. We worked on getting back to our perfect posture on Monday. Uh, now today we're going to work on what we do from that perfect posture. There's a reason we get to our perfect posture and side control. The worst place I can be is like this right here. If I do this, I'm never going to escape. I'm just going to sit here and hold myself here and not go anywhere. You can mount me. You can break anything you want to do like this. So I'm not going to do this. I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to put myself in this position right here. This is going to be the best spot I can be or I'm always trying to get myself to this position. Whether I reach it or not, it's, it's me trying to get all the way here that's going to trigger one of these a response from him to counter it. And when he does that, he's going to leave us several different openings. Right? Now the first ones we were discussing was the ones from when he's in a square side control or he's flat on us right here. There's two other kinds, right? He could turn our hips towards our head, or his hips towards our head, or towards our legs. We'll go over those next week. This week we're going to just be dealing with the, our best boss, or all our moves from when he's in this square side control, right? And his reactions from right here. So I'm getting myself back to right here and there's going to be a couple different ways that he's going to deal with me um, getting myself back or there's a couple things that once each of my tools freeze up it should trigger me to do right so the first one right here we're, we're getting ourselves we discussed getting him off of our chin getting one tool in to get the other ones in rolling away from him to get our arm in to move ourselves right here and when we get to this position depending where it is what we're going to do now if when I get to this position I see this opening right here I'm going to take my left hand right here and I'm going to go out the back door and I'm reaching down all the way to the foot. All right, so it's like I'm basically reaching for a single leg right here. I'm not reaching for an underhook right here. If I reach for an underhook and I try and come up right here, they're going to mount me. They're going to do it. It's a bad spot to be. You don't want to be fighting from right here in bottom side control. It's not a winning spot. Right? So when we do this, and I get my underhook, I'm looking to get a hold of his leg down right here. And I'm pushing on his other knee. So if he tries to go anywhere, he's kind of stuck right where he's at. And it allows me to just keep moving down and around all the way from my walk around sweep, right? When I do my walk around sweep, I could end up in side control. I can end up on his back many different places, but I'm always going to keep moving myself around this way to my final position, right? So our first one is when we get our far side hook in right here and we feel an underhook available, we're reaching down, grabbing the outside, pushing right here, getting my leg on the outside of his right here, or on the outside, on the inside, so it's going over, catching right to here, bringing my hand up to right here and pushing myself, pushing myself all the way around to right here. And then of course, a million different things we can do from that. <coughs> oh! Just starting out right here. Lifting myself up, oh, feeling it right here. So all the way to position. Grab a partner back and forth, our walk around sweep from our underhook and bottom side control. Go. Mm -hmm. Once we got ourselves where we found our hole over here, what if he's not letting us get ourselves all the way in? He's not letting this hand get in right here, but he's not taking care of checking this hand, so there's going to be a hole this right here. We call it the back door. <laughs> this is a back door escape. Our first one was this top hand where I created space and went with my underhook to a walk around. Right, the second one is maybe I don't have this option, maybe the body position is just letting me take the other one. He's not letting me get this hand in front. No big deal. So, and I don't have to have my knee in for this either, by the way. Anytime I can get this. That's why in side control, we want to have our knee up under his arm right here so it can't go anywhere. Because as soon as he, you back off right there, if he can put his hand on his belly button, he's always going to end up in a really good position on you, right? So that's what we're looking for every time. Now, if you notice, I didn't just go to the submission just to be cute or clever on that. I'm looking to go all the way to the submission every time. And the reason for that <coughs> is just because it's good to get a submission is because if shooting for that position or shooting for that submission 
it makes me it makes me uh, do my my escape or my sweep or whatever a hundred percent correctly because my hand chasing his neck for that that one particular guillotine right there is going to move me and the rest of my body in a manner I need to escape properly, right? So working to fight myself and get in here. Maybe I can't get my knee in. Maybe I can't get this in, but this one came out the back. Now when I start going right here, a lot of people, they're going to feel this coming and try and sit up. So my left hand is holding him down. Now this is tricky because anytime you hold on to somebody, if I hold on too tight right here, I let go of me. I can't go anywhere because of how tight I'm holding. So I need to make sure that I'm holding down pressure, but I'm loose up in my shoulder. So go ahead and sit up. So that he can't sit up. Sit up. He's, trying to sit. He's trying to sit up. So I have the ability to hold him down because I'm putting pressure with the top part of my arm, but I, that doesn't mean the rest of my body or my shoulder is tight. Those have to be loose so I can move myself all the way to that position, right? So don't hold, hold them down, but don't hold on in a manner that's not going to allow you to go up super smooth for that door. Right? So I can't get this arm in, whatever the case is, escaping out, holding down, but enough that I'm going to always chase myself over. And if you notice, I'm, going, I'm just keep going all the way over if I can. I'm going to grab this. If not, I'm going to go right here. My grip is just grabbing the back of my hand right here. Nothing fancy, backwards, anything. I'm just grabbing my hand, tucking it on top of his head so he can't get it out of there. And see. The pressure of my legs so he can't get something. It's more important than submission uh, because even if I'm doing this and I start to go out right here and he just pressures up too, too heavy, he's going up, up, up right here. That's kind of the worst that's going to happen. And I was in the bottom in a control in a bad control position. Now I'm back to neutral. So at worst, when I do this backdoor escape, it can turn into a backdoor escape rather than a backdoor uh, reversal or submission. So grab a partner going out the backdoor from bottom side control. Go.